today we're in Marion Bear Memorial Park because this is one of the most coastal locations where golden spotted oak borer has been found. It's believed that it was moved from the initial infestation area in Descanso through the movement of firewood. The gold spotted oak borer, also known as GSOB, is an invasive beetle that's new to San Diego County. Its effect on oak trees is right now it's attacking California black oak, coast live oak, and canyon live oak. Um, basically, if it attacks the trees, it will um, it has about one to nine years of surviving and it will eventually kill the tree. This is a uh, really nasty insect that if left unfettered within uh, five to ten years would take out about 90 percent of the coastal live oaks in this region. It's flat but it just it just doesn't look like the characteristic D shape. It's like because usually it's perfectly it just looks like a D so that's how you'll know. Um, because it's attacking the three oak species, the California black oak, coast live oak, and canyon live oak, the ranges of these oaks extend all the way up into northern California, so it has the potential to spread um, throughout the whole state and even up to Oregon. We're working closely with the University of California Extension, who is studying the golden spotted oak borer to learn about what management techniques should be employed in this area. One of the things that we're doing today is training volunteers for an early warning system. I'm the early warning system coordinator of Gold Spotted Oak Borer. I'm involved with this so we could get um, this program set up and citizens and property owners outside on the ground monitoring for Gold Spotted Oak Borer. Within 250 miles of the initial infestation, there are 800,000 acres of oak woodlands. This is much too large of an area for city staff alone to monitor, so we're bringing in volunteers to help us find areas of new infestation so we can manage those effectively. Some of the visible signs that a tree may be infested by gold spotted oak borer are D-shaped exit holes. These are one of the most diagnostic signs that a tree is infested with gold spotted oak borer. So a D-shaped exit hole is flat on one side and these holes are about three millimeters in width. Some other signs of gold spotted oak borer infested trees are bark staining and bark oozing. And usually you'll see these signs on the lower one third of the oak tree, usually on mature trees as well. With gold spotted oak borer infestation. Volunteers and property owners could help become part of our early warning system of gold spotted oak borer and other oak pests by helping monitor the health of oaks on their property by helping monitor oak trees and making sure their oaks aren't infested with any insects or diseases. They help us give valuable information about where the distribution of gold spotted oak borer and these other insect pests and diseases are. So stopping the move of infested firewood outside of these infested areas will help stop the spread of GSOB. We believe this is one of the main reasons why gold spotted oak borer has spread to new populations and how it's had new outbreaks. When you're out hiking in the city parks, county parks, or wherever, and you know how to identify coastal live oaks and the other oak species we have in this area too, please take the time to learn what the indicator uh, spots are for the gold spotted oak borer. So we're going to be relying on you, the people that use the park and love the park, uh, for that help. But uh, we're not real anxious to see our oak galleries uh, go the way of the dinosaur.